Oh my gosh, have you heard? James Charles finally revealed the name of his beauty brand after what feels like forever. I saw a short video he posted on social media and it led to the big reveal. The brand name is Painted by James Charles. At first, I wasn't sure if it was the official name, but now it's pretty much confirmed since there's an Instagram page for it and he's following it too. But get this, there's nothing on the page yet. I don't know why he didn't tag it in his video or put it in his bio, but I guess he's waiting to get the username changed to just painted or something like that. So there's only a few followers on the page right now. In the video, he said the brand is coming out this summer and he's been working on it for four years. Can you believe it? James Charles finally revealed his makeup brand and it's called Painted. He dropped a teaser video on social media and it looks like it's coming out this summer. I wasn't sure if Painted was the name of the whole brand or just a product line, but now it's confirmed to be his brand. He even created an Instagram page for it, but he didn't tag it in his video or bio. I wonder what's up with that. I have a theory though. Coachella is this weekend and James might be going, so he probably wants to use his own products to create some insane looks and promote his brand. But maybe he's waiting for a bigger video to showcase the exact product he's coming out with. Honestly, I was surprised by the positive comments under James' Instagram post. Usually, people have a lot to say about him, but this time everyone was praising him and expressing excitement for his brand. I have a feeling he might have blocked some words in his comments because on Trend Boots post, people were bringing up his past and mentioning jail time. Yikes. So, Charles just announced his new makeup line, right before Coachella, and everyone's buzzing about it. But some people are speculating that he did it to distract from all the drama that's been swirling around him lately. People on Trend Mood were dragging him through the mud, calling him out for his past mistakes and even suggesting that he should be in jail. Ouch. But weirdly enough, when you go on his Instagram page, all you see are positive comments. It's like he blocked out any negativity. And get this, he was also holding a contest where he was going to pick some followers to be in his campaign shoot. But now people are wondering if the girl in his promo video was actually a winner or if he just hired her. James said he'll be announcing the winners next week, but some folks think he might have already picked them and notified them privately. Either way, it seems like James is trying to do damage control and move on from the drama. But personally, I don't think this new makeup line is going to be enough to distract people from his past mistakes. What do you think? So get this, James Charles just dropped a video and he's teasing a new makeup line called Create Paint. And let me tell you, the shade he showed off, left on red, looks fire. But that's not even the craziest part. He's hinting at a whole range of Create Paints and I'm getting major flashbacks to his Morph eyeshadow palette. It's like he's taking it to the next level with these paints. And he might even be launching brushes to go with them. Did you catch the brushes he used in the video? Are they a sneak peek of what's to come? He's talking about launching brushes for his brand, so it's definitely a possibility. But here's the real question he's asking his fans. When it comes to eyeshadow brushes, do you care if they're cruelty-free and vegan? He's all about that, but he wants to know if you are too. James Charles is really pushing the boundaries with his new makeup brand. He's starting out with a product that's not exactly the easiest to use. It's like expert level or something. But get this, he's actually encouraging fans of all skill levels to apply for his campaign, which is all about showcasing how anyone can use his products. James is being so mysterious about what this product actually is, but he did give us a little hint that it's not exactly something you'd find at your local Ulta or Sephora. He thinks people might be intimidated by it and pass it by, but he's convinced that once you see it in action, you'll realize it's not as scary as it seems. I'm seriously impressed by his dedication to making makeup accessible for everyone. I gotta say, the teaser video he put out is pretty cool. Have you seen it? The whole multicolor painting look is definitely eye-catching, but I wonder how he's going to advertise it in other ways. I mean, I can't imagine people walking around in public with that kind of look on a daily basis. You know what I mean. But hey, James is a creative guy. I'm sure he'll figure out some unique ways to market his brand. And from what I've seen, people don't seem to be criticizing the product itself, just James as a person. But that's a whole other can of worms. What I found really touching though, was when James revealed that the video was actually an homage to his first LA apartment. Some fans noticed it and even got emotional about it. It's nice to see James opening up about his journey like that. So what do you think? Are you excited for James' brand? Do you think it'll be a hit or a miss? I'm curious to know your thoughts, so drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.